Hello everyone, I am SG222094, Nitin Ramesh from Singapore. I am a primary 6 student from Chochokong Primary School and my interest towards robotics started years before I got the chance to learn robotics for the past 2 years. This is the 4th World Cup challenge that I have participated. I won the Best Presentation Award in Asia Pacific World Cup 2020 together with many other awards. My, my other teammate is Mardev Santiwe. He is a primary 5 student from Chachakong Primary School and also loves robotics like me. We, we thank the ro organizing team of the RoboCup and our teachers for this opportunity. This is the first RoboCup challenge he has participated. We both thank the RoboCup team, teachers and our parents for their support and guidance. This challenge was a little hard. The color sensors were not working properly and I have to use infrared sensors for everything. For example, the robot does not sense the color to turn here. It is simply using the IR sensors. Sorry that the video lags a lot. I shall play it again. Here, it is using just the IR sensors to turn. Here, it is also using just the IR sensors to turn. How to turn when you're having a hard time with the color sensors? When you want to detect the color, you have to pause it and see the color combination of R, red, green, and blue. So, to avoid the hassle, just do a, when the, just arrange it that the when the three IRs, when the six IR sensors Three of them detect white. Just turn right or left or wherever you want your robot to go. This is how it looks like if you want your robot to go right. The there are three white for R1, R2 and R3 which means that the line is like this. Straight and then there's a curve at the right. So when it detects the curve at the right, now, it now goes right. Or you can do how, however you want, like 60-60 to go straight and 0-60 to, to go left. However, remember that the duration must always be 0 0.3 seconds. Or at least you have to put a duration. Now, I'll present the game video. Sorry that it is laggy. The robot has passed the first waypoint and when it detects the green, it went forward. So when it detected the red, it turned right. The robot has passed the second waypoint. When the, there is no thing for detecting the green as the robot can already go straight. This is the part where, where it where I used only the IR sensors as I had trouble using the color sensors. I didn't really use the red here because it was useless. And then the robot passed the third waypoint to go to the end. I finished in 34 seconds and 773 milliseconds. How does an autonomous driving vehicle or driverless car work in the real world? Autonomous driving depends on many sensors such as infrared, ultrasonic, and lidar, etc. These machines can sense the surroundings better to work better. This is how it works. A robot first senses, then, it, then it, according to the algorithm, it does. First Space Robot has given me a chance to learn the usage of IR sensors, ultrasonic sensors, color sensors, and motor control. I have gained the knowledge of programming the autonomous vehicle to follow the track and finish in the fastest possible time. I am most interested in learning from CN2009. She did it last year as she completed the challenge in a fast time, taking a lot of shortcuts. I would like to learn from her the algorithms used for the sensors. 
I influenced my sister with my knowledge on robotics and artificial intelligence. My friends from my CCA have asked me on the algorithms and sensors. Thank you for your kind attention.